Hi friends, welcome to Linux 4. My name is Chandan and today we are going to learn how to extend slash root or slash drive in CentOS on Azure Cloud. Okay, so so basically uh, what is the uh, uh, reason behind the extending the slash drive? Okay, the basic reason behind it, uh, first of all, when we are deploying the new VM, okay, on on azure cloud in linux for the cent os or any ubuntu also then it's taking only 32 gb of disk of the os disk right so in uh, ubuntu system when you are increasing the disk on portal it's automatically getting the uh, increased inside the vm okay but the cache uh, for the cent os when you are increasing the drive size on the portal level it's not automatically getting the size updated inside the vm so here we will learn how to extend the slash drive inside the vm after upgrading on portal okay so let's see so first of all uh, this is a fresh vm just now i have deployed it okay now i am going to log in and uh, currently we can see the size of the OS disk is only 30 GB okay so uh, now I am going to log in and uh, same thing I am going to show you so you can understand the things okay so this time opening a new session okay just log into the VM. I've, I have passed a username and password here. Now I am inside the VM. Okay. So just I am increasing the font. So it the visibility will be good. okay so uh, here we can see the size of the slash it is showing 30 gb okay and also and this command also very helpful to understand the drive mapping so sta is the main drive name in this we have two drive so one part is mapped on the slash boot and second part mapped on the slash drive okay now now uh, we are going to update uh, now we are going to uh, increase the size of this uh, this disk uh, 30 to 64 gb so for this we need to stop the vm okay so just i am going to stop the vm okay once the vm is stopped we will increase the size on the portal and then we will see either this disk increased inside the vm or not okay so let's wait okay so as we can see our vm successfully has stopped okay now just click on disk choose disk okay go to size plus performance okay here we can increase it whatever size you want as per your requirement now i'm just uh, going to increase till 64 gb okay so just uh, click on resize okay 
so the uh, successfully updated the disk size now just click on overview okay go to the vm particular vm where you have uh, you need to update the size okay just at a, a start that vm okay okay so now vm started successfully okay and also we can see the disk size okay so as we can see here it's a 64 gb right so now we can log into the vm okay i already have the session so nothing i am going to copy ip and other things just i am restarting the session okay I'm giving the password okay now we are in the VM just press same command df-h okay now the size is uh, still 30 GB it's uh, showing right and even here we can see the same thing the size of this disk it's now we can see here the size updated for the main part okay sta it's a showing 64 gb right but it's not updated here so what we need to do here now let's uh, switch to the root okay okay now i am on root so now we are going to uh, op going to increase the size of that slash drive okay so we are going to use utility f disk here okay dev sta the main drive part is sta so always perform operation on the main drive okay so we are going to perform f disk dev sda okay now just print here as we can see here two drive is there dev sta which is mounted on slash root as per the uh, this lsplk command according to that this 500 mb mounted at the slash boot so don't touch that uh, extra drive part okay so that is the very critical you don't go for that okay we have to increase this size sta2 okay which is mounted on the slash drive okay you can see so here we are going to delete this drive okay press t it's not going to delete your data it's going to delete the uh, only the sector or unit okay so press t and enter okay it's uh, going to choose default to or uh, suppose he here you have two three disk then you have to choose which drive you need to delete okay so here uh, it's going to uh, uh, default to but you can put the two number also here. okay so partition two is deleted now when you print here the partition two is not present now okay sometime it will be present but don't worry about that N press next in okay in for new we are going to create new partition okay press new and then press p p for primary and here also you have to choose disk number what you have previously chose okay so i am choosing here two it's going to default to I am choosing here manually to here first sector always remember the first sector should be the same what is here okay otherwise the data deletion will be exist or some 
some issue will create here ok. So, this sector is the initial sector from initial to end we are going to choose. So, it is choosing default ok as you can see this sector and this sector is the matching. So, proceed it is a default taking here so ok and also uh, sometime we need to resize suppose you are going to extend only 5 GB or 10 GB then you can choose here otherwise uh, we do not need to choose we are going to extend whole drive ok. So, I am choosing the default ok. So, it is uh, extended till 63.5 GB now we can press the W for the right the changes press W ok. Now, here uh, we need to reboot the system sometime uh, either we can reboot or we can perform the part probe. If part probe uh, command updated our drive then not required the boot, but if not updated then we need to perform a reboot here. So, now just check using LSBLK either it is the drive updated or not ok. So, in this condition it is a showing updated, but remember if it is not updating then you should restart the server remember ok. So, after rebooting it will update you ok here, but my case it is uh, already updated after performing the part probe ok. Now, the disk drive came here, but when you perform DA5H command it is not showing 64 GB ok why because the file system is not updated here ok till existing system. Now, here we need to check the file system what is the file system for the 30 GB ok. So, perform DA5H capital T is the command which give you the file system for the 30 GB it is showing this partition is XFS type ok XFS formatted partition. Now, for XFS we need to perform XFS underscore grow of S is the command and for which partition you are going to increase just partition you need to give. So, we are going to uh, increase for the dev STA2 dev STA2 ok I have given here. Now, just check that size ok. Now, we can see this drive increased till 64 GB you got that point ok. So, uh, successfully increased and uh, that is all this is the activity we need to perform ok and in this tutorial only we, we are learning this point how we can increase the uh, slash drive in in Linux or CentOS basically especially CentOS or Red Hat ok on Azure Cloud. And uh, one thing also in general also this is general concept ok so not for the Azure, but because on Azure it is not automatically increasing that is why we have uh, to increase manually inside the VM ok. This is the things ok one thing. Second thing uh, here the information I want to pass you in updated version right uh, CentOS 8.2 it is automatically going to increase the size once you have updated the uh, disk on the portal it is automatically going to update inside the VM. I have experimented with the same OS for Red Hat I need to perform then I will update you on the next video ok. Uh, second thing I want to that is first thing now is the second thing I want to perf uh, inform you this is normal hard drive ok it is a normal hard drive it is not the part of the LBM and also this is uh, if you say like uh, what is the partition type or partition uh, code here it is a normal Linux partition is this ok. 
sometime we will see uh, GPT partition like it is MBR partition. Okay. If GPT is there that process is little bit different. Okay. The concept is same, but the process is little bit different and also for uh, if suppose it is LVM partition then the partition uh, increasing the slash drive little bit uh, little bit the difficulties there in because the simplicity is there how you are going to manage that is the main main concept behind it so uh, in next video i will show you how to increase the size if the partition is linux uh, lvm partition is there okay system configured in the lvm partition okay and uh, that's all for lvm little bit uh, concept is there and also some complexity is coming and also we will use some some different uh, utility uh, okay for increasing the lvm partition so thank you for uh, watching my video please like share and subscribe this channel okay and uh, please share your feedback